Okay, so today's little project on the RV camper is uh, taking a look at the plumbing as we go through all the systems here to make sure that everything is running well. And so what we noticed was a little water coming out. Let's see if we can move down here. You can see that spot over there. And so a little water is uh, forming up in there. So I think what I'm going to do is get that to dry really good and we were cleaning the thing and we found it. So while looking for that I found another problem. I wanted to see where that water might have been coming from. So that's number one we have to cut that. But number two the bigger issue is if you will notice here let's see if I can get down in there without okay this drain here you see this it's loose well, what that means is water could go right underneath that into the floor. So what we'll do is go around to the back here and have a look underneath and see what's going on. Look at that, water has been leaking right underneath. This is the P-trap for the plumbing right here. Right here. And this is the underneath, Let's see if I can show you, of the tub right there. Well, we'll zoom in here a little bit and I'll show you. See that all moving? Well, that is not a good deal. So, there's a nut right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to loosen that nut and then be able to push up the drain in there. And what we'll do on the underside of the drain inside there is we will put plumber's putty. We'll make a little snake of it. Or I'll show you that. And then put that underneath there. Press down with the plumber's putty and come back underneath here and take care of this. Now this here is just a lot worse than it, I mean it looks a lot worse than it actually is. That's just some staining and stuff on there. So it'll be easy to, uh, to clean up. So this is about the only thing that I'm finding that's really an issue with the plumbing so far. So let me get started on this. So I'm going to get the vacuum and I'm going to go and vacuum out that drain first to get the water out of it. Okay, so this is what I've done. I've disconnected this P-trap. Let's see if you can see in there. From the unit and I'm able to spin it around so it's now disconnected from the drain pipe. Then I've taken that nut up there and loosened that. And hopefully that's going to give me enough to uh, get the plumber's putty on the other side. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. Take some uh, plumber's putty right here. Take this out of here. That's what it looks like. Don't have the best camera angle here, but uh, I'm trying to do it on the fly in here. And I'm going to take this. It's kind of gooey and stuff, soft. And you start rolling it in your hands. And you get a nice little shape. See that? There we go. And I want to try to get it consistent so that it will go all the way around that drain. The consistent thickness so I only need about probably that much right here I don't know if you can see that there we go and that looks like a good piece so we'll go over here and put this on the drain okay there's the drain you see I have it lifted up because I untightened that um, or loosened that nut underneath and now I have a gap under there and that's where I'm going to take the plumber's putty and put that in there.
Okay, so I got the nut tightened underneath, and now I'm removing the excess plumber's putty, and it comes out pretty easy. Now I'm going to have a really good seal. You can just use the plumber's putty to just dot up and pick up all the little scraps there and make a nice clean uh, finish there. The plumber's putty, see that? You can just take that, put it back in your container, and use it for next time on the uh, leftover that you have there. So now everything is good, tight, we got a good seal, and a good finish on there. So this is the Homestead Handyman. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Homestead Handyman, out.